Virginia Mountaineers. How could you forget the greatest college mixtape of all time, Tavon Austin? What about Geno Smith dropping 70 points on Clemson in the Orange Bowl? This program has had some incredibly high highs, but it's been in a slump the last seven years. There's also a lot of good competition in the Big 12. Utah, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Kansas, Arizona. I'm going to rebuild the West Virginia Mountaineers, and I have three goals. Not only, of course, do I want to win a national championship, but I want to make sure I get the second coming of Geno and the second coming of Tavon Austin. Although I know there can only be one. The Mountaineers are an 82 overall with an 84 offense and an 82 defense. They're a three and a half star program. That puts them middle of the pack in the Big 12. Oklahoma State, Utah, and Texas Tech are probably the scariest teams we're going to see until we get into bowl games and college football playoffs. But I'm excited to get started. I'm going to build a recruiter head coach and we'll stick to West Virginia's air raid and the 335 defense. And I'm going to look like Sam Hartman just because 2023 was a good season for West Virginia, but the seven years prior to that, five and seven, six and seven, six and four, five and seven. Eh. It could be a lot worse, but I'm shooting for this 05, 06, 07 stretch. Let's sign that contract, baby. Hopefully this can be my quickest rebuild. It took me 10 years to get Vanderbilt to the natty. That's the quickest I've ever done it. So hopefully we can be a little better here with West Virginia. We're a brand new head coach. We have no skill points in anything. I'm going to start out by putting points in wide receiver tight end. I want my new Tavon Austin as fast as possible. The West Virginia roster. We've got a 90 overall senior left tackle, an 87 senior free safety, and an 87 senior quarterback, Garrett Green with some insanely good abilities. Platinum tier pull down, platinum tier extender. He's got 88 speed. This dude's a dog. Nasty. Ooh, our sophomore running backs already in 84 with 91 speed. Jaheim White is gonna put in a lot of good years to West Virginia. Two great halfbacks, a really solid D tackle. And we do have a redshirt sophomore, Nico Marshall. Also our sophomore redshirt quarterback, Nico, will be a good replacement. So we don't have to worry about quarterback too much right now. Wide receivers, yeah, this is certainly not Tavon Austin anywhere here. Our best ones, Hudson Clement, Justin Robinson, and Jaden Bray. Definitely gonna focus on this. We run air raid. We need better wide receivers in here. Mediocre tight ends, a very solid offensive line other than right tackle. D-line is very average. Linebackers are bad. Look at the depth on these linebackers. Only outside linebacker is a 68. Middle linebacker, 74. And right outside linebacker has a bit of depth. Corners are all right. Free safety is a dog. And strong safety is all right. I think defense and wide receivers is going to be the focal point of our recruiting for year one. All right, my recruiting board is set. Let me walk you through some of the guys we found so far. Duke Westbrook. I wasn't really looking for a halfback, but he's a gem with 93 speed. Dude could could be nasty and keep in mind I technically could find a crazy good athlete or running back and convert him to wide receiver it's more likely that I'll find a wide receiver that's my Tavon Austin build but still I really like this guy here's a five-star QB this dude is nasty not sure that we can land him but I want to keep him on my radar find a four-star gem right end dude looks like a beast definitely keeping him on my radar five-star right end as well I'm shooting for the stars right now but this dude's already got platinum natural and gold winning time and 83 speed power rush. Probably my favorite prospect right now though, Kane McLeod. Left outside linebacker, which we badly need. He's a gem four star with 91 speed, 90 acceleration. Dude would be a monster out there. Find a four star gem right tackle. We definitely need that as well. A four star gem free safety, our stud. 87 overall is a senior. So I'd like to replace him. This guy looks incredible, Mike Abru. And I'm trying my best to find the Tavon Austin. My best options right now, there's a 96 speed 6'1", four-star gem wide receiver, and more close to a Tavon Austin build. This guy's 5'10", Elijah Rochelle, also a four-star, also a gem, 96 speed, 95 excel. I, like, low-key, if I want to do Tavon Austin, I need 100 speed, 100 excel, but we're working with what we've got here. That's all we've done right here in the preseason. I'll keep my eyes on these guys. Let's see what our year one schedule looks like. Our very first game is Penn State at West Virginia. Low-key wanted to do this rebuild because I'm actually going to this game. So if you're at this game, please let me know. I'll come find you. I cannot wait to go to this game. Then we got FCS East, Pittsburgh, Kansas, Oklahoma State, Iowa State, Kansas State, Arizona. Oh my God. This is about as hard as a big 12 schedule could be. 
damn. Yeah, this could be tough. A lot of ranked opponents. As for recruiting, I just sent the house on every single guy we offered a scholarship to. Some of these guys are gonna be really tough. Like to Sean Melvin, we're not even on his radar. We'll see what happens after this week. If I land five four stars, I'll be really excited about how this is going. All right, sending the house has worked so far. We're on pretty much everybody's radar. Here's Duke Westbrook. And look who we are in contention with. It's Penn State. The five-star QB wants nothing to do with me. Elijah Rochelle, at least I'm on his radar. Tashawn Melvin likes me a lot better. Abru and Boone, we're not first for anybody right now. So let's play well, schedule some visits, make some hard sells, and see if we can move the needle on these guys. I know realistically I should be looking at three and four stars, but I'm getting a little better at recruiting. I wanna see what I can get done here. I don't usually play the moments, but I want to play the moments on this first game. Penn State's got four overall advantage on us. The home option unis are fire. Let's kick this season off right, gentlemen. Take me home, country roads, to a place I belong. Big third down, they're bringing me in. There's Aubrey Burks, our best player on defense. Stud senior safety. Carico, oh, step up, gentlemen. We gotta break a little faster than that. Hey, that's what happens if your corners don't have good play recognition and awareness. They'll break on the ball a lot slower. And damn, Penn State can run the football. That is for sure. And they might be doing it again. I gotta get Aubrey Burks ready to stop the run. And there it is. Oh, it's an RPO, what a play. He's not in. I normally wouldn't say this, but I love how difficult college football is. Even against the computer sometimes, it's a slug out and they waltz right into the end zone. Penn State's on the board first. I'm back on defense. West Virginia could not score. It's a big third down though. Third and seven, home field advantage, Carrico. Oh, it's a, it's a draw. But our D tackle, huge play. Back on defense. Yeah, I'll just play defense all day. Same scenario, but this time they could get a field goal if they don't convert this. Penn State, looking for a pass. What a route. He stopped in the middle of that. First and goal, can I stop? The run onslaught. Is it one more run? It sure is. That was a read option. He hands it off. Good tackle. Second and goal. Penn State can smell the end zone. I smell another run too. This time I'm gonna, oh, Starks, huge hit. Oh, Starks, sorry, it's Burks. My bad, I'm thinking of Malachi Starks. Aubrey Burks, huge hit. We're run committing middle. It's gonna work. Penn State's gonna have to settle for three. That's a goal line stand for West Virginia. Hopefully that gets this crowd into this and we can do something on offense. We're looking pitiful. Uh-oh, West Virginia. We are not moving the ball on offense. It's third and six back on defense. This is a pass. Finds a man, and my corners are just getting torched. We've seen this before. Aubrey Burks, you were built for this moment, buddy. Checks down low. We got to make a big tackle. Go low on the big boy. It's a good tackle. Second and goal. Always got to be ready for the run against this team. Let's see what they got. Burks, are we ready? It's a motion. Is it a fake? It's real. Burks, there's a flag, it's gotta be a hold because I would have made that tackle. Yes, sir, yes, sir. A little zebra assistance may just stop the bleeding here. If we can force him to another field goal, it's just a two possession game. Second and goal, I expect a pass here. It is, do I see seven? I do, great defense. D-line gets home, wear and tear is taking a toll on the gentleman right now. Third and goal, big play. I'm over the middle, that's not gonna get there. Let's go, boys. Fourth and goal, another field goal. Ooh, but Penn State got to knock off a lot of time on that clock. I should call the timeout. Shoot, I saw that late. Oh, he sh buddy just shanked a 20-yarder. High schoolers kicked that for PATs. Dude, despite this, I'm playing the moments. There's not been a single offensive moment. It's just shutout central. Third and eight, Penn State, same scenario. If you want to shank another kick, I wouldn't be mad. Great defense. A wobbler out of bounds. It's another field goal. Come on, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Now 13 to zero, we find ourselves in the red zone. We got Donaldson. We got Garrett Green. Let's find something open. The slant over the middle. How do you leave that? Penn State. Coming out in a full house set against goal line. And the, oh my goodness. Moses just parted the Red Sea. He parted the White Sea. I know. Very good. I was, I was born for this. They're empty. We're sending a blitz. Oh no. I don't like that. Oh, he gets the pass off. Damn. Blitz wasn't hot enough. Oh, is that a slip screen? 
He comes in so, we got rocked, but he got rocked forward. We gotta stop them here. I mean, a field goal still makes us two possession, but a touchdown is a lot scarier. First and goal, there's the handoff. We knew it was coming. Dude, Singleton, 29 carries, 129 yards. Oh, it's a read option to the QB. He keeps it, hangs onto the football, but that's another good stop. West Virginia's defense playing really, really well. It's our offense that's holding us back right now. And I'm late to get over there. Touchdown, Penn State. See if we can't find a touchdown of our own. Oh, that man coverage is bottling us up. But don't forget how fast Garrett Green is. 88 speed on that man. Not to mention, he's a senior. So this might be our last season with him. I got Clement in single coverage. If he can get even a step on his man, I gotta take that shot. Oh my goodness. No time to throw. See if we can find somebody open here. Ooh, got the clearing man. A little spin for fun, I broke an ankle. I don't know how that move would break an ankle, but we don't ask those questions around here. We just play ball. Solid looking drive so far. That's man coverage on the left side. That's a really hard route to cover in man coverage. It's even better if you miss the throw though. If this is a blitz out the middle, I can hit RB. It's not, I gotta try and find the seam. Ugly, it's dropped. We got a fourth and 10 now. Going with a classic four verticals. Let's see if they can cover this. Oh. Oh no, not what I meant to do, but it's still got a chance. He got his hands on it. I should have gone to be there. Penn State was way too much for West Virginia. 28 to seven, our home opener is a loss. We can schedule a visit for Elijah Rochelle. We're fourth right now behind some really good programs. Let's schedule him against Kansas. Ooh, we don't know much though. I guess we'll go proximity to home, but our grades are not very good. None of the West Virginia grades are very good. Hard sales are not gonna be easy unless they care about conference prestige. I can also schedule Duke Westbrook for the same visit. He likes proximity to home, beautiful. I can schedule the exact same visit for Emmett Callow. Ooh, I don't know what he likes. I guess I'm gonna go family visit. All right, this is a big game. We've got a lot of visits scheduled against Kansas. We got a win over the FCS East and Pitt. Kansas is no longer ranked. Hopefully this isn't as tough as Penn State. Oh my God, Elijah Rochelle already signed. Yikes. I got to schedule a visit now for Deshaun Melvin. I'll schedule that against Iowa State. I need to hard sell him though. So let's remove, send the house. It's hard to go for the hard sell when I don't know. I'm sending this in pretty blind. I don't really know what's gonna happen here, but I got to go for it. I got to land one of the good wide receivers. We're at home once again. It's an equal overall matchup. Let's play the moments. Oh, the Jayhawks. You know, I almost rebuilt Kansas instead of West Virginia. And I'm getting a little too familiar with this moment. Your defense needs help. They're in the red zone. Motions the hat back over. He's gonna throw contested and it's caught. Stop it. That was on Aubrey Burks. First and goal. Motions a man over. It's a fake jet sweep. He's going up the middle. The fake jet sweep got me. That was my hole to fill if I was still there. It's third and one though. We've got the ball on offense. Here's something we didn't do against Penn State. Run the damn football. Donaldson. Donaldson. Oh. Well, I know what I did wrong against Penn State. Dude's a monster. Nice run. After a quick Kansas touchdown, we're back on O. They're not making this easy. They got two star corners. I got to test them though. I gotta test him, Robinson, cooked. That ball is underthrown by about half a yard maybe. And that is so sad because he had him beat. Oh, what a tough miss right there. Throws right in the middle. Yikes, it's not looking good. We got so many recruits here for this home game. We gotta come out with a win here. Second and four, is that a handoff? Maybe a read option? What does Kansas run? That's a handoff. We filled that so well. Third and three. Another handoff? No, you don't got the balls. Oh, they got the balls. They got the balls! But Burks is there. It's a two minute drill, gentlemen. Looks like they got the middle of the field open, potentially. Oh my goodness, stop it. I know Robinson can beat him. Let's just take the easy one. We're gonna go into Davis. Take a few yards. We're going aggressive here. Fourth and two, looking to pick this up right in the middle. Davis, once again, security blanket. I may just go right back to Davis. That's man coverage and he is so far underneath that, but the safety's over top. Right into Donaldson for a nice catch. That's third and two. It's an interesting play call here. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Bray, beauty. Same thing, Donaldson continues to be open. Kansas is not guarding that route. Donaldson is hot, understandably. What kind of coverage we got here? Ooh, look at you, but that's a bad ball. We are sailing some of these. Garrett Green's got a lot of room. Let's get a downfield blocker. I gotta break a tackle. We came here for seven, we gotta get it. Fourth down conversion, that is a wide angle you're taking, edge rusher. 
Looks like they're trying to contain Garrett Green, but a good step up. Got to get this puppy in the end zone. We got timeouts and a lot of clock. We can still hand this football off. Donaldson to the edge. Just a little bit, but not enough. I'm going to block Davis. I want a double team on this edge rusher. Yeah, that guy's a freak. Oh, Garrett. Garrett. Good block! Garrett Green is saving the Mountaineers right now. Dude, Kansas just scores so effortlessly. I'm not even coming in on defense. It's 24 to 14 after half. We gotta make something happen here. Leave the middle open just a bit. Robinson, a great catch. Another third down. I hope that's a blitz over the middle. I'll be able to hit Clement. It sure is. And there's Clement. Oh, that's exactly what we were looking for! But that star corner almost made that play. All right, this could be the biggest play of the game here. Huge third down stop needed. Come on, TJ Crandall, baby. And he, dude, what are we guarding over there? Huge hit out of Burks. We got to stop. We got to hold him to a field goal. Come on, let's get down. Let's get ready to fill this. This has got to be a run. There it is. There it is. Oh, he breaks... Not one, but two tackles. Touchdown, Kansas. They step up on the running back. They forgot about Garrett Green. If scrambling's my only option, I'm gonna have to take it. We're all the way down into the red zone now, and I swear I could just scramble for another touchdown here. It's a three-man rush. Are those QB spies? Oh my goodness. See, I'm gonna be honest, this is why I don't usually play the games. Cause I feel like I'm like I feel like I'm cheesing right now. Although in fairness, Kansas can't be stopped. They have 38 points. Even all this, I'm not sure I can win this game. Oh, a little playmaker on B. Everyone vacates and just I don't know. This doesn't feel right, man. This doesn't feel right. Let's go read option. I'm gonna give that to the boy Donaldson. We're gonna cut it up the middle. Put give him a push. 78. 78 made that touchdown happen. Pushed our boy in the end zone. Can we get a stop? 38 to 35, all the recruits are watching. And Kansas is looking to run this clock out. This has got to be a handoff. It sure is. Left side, we've got a lot of bodies over there. Down he goes. Same thing, maybe a pass here. Is that a jet sweep? It is a jet sweep, but he cuts it up the middle, takes a big hit. Two minute warning is going to help us out here. We can definitely get this ball back. Third and nine, is this another? No, it's a pass. That's scary. He's there, and it's a perfect ball. All right, well, we got three timeouts. We're gonna have to use them because these are gonna be all runs. First and 10, three, two, one. There's the handoff. Do we have it? Good hit, timeout. If they get one first down, it's game over. So the game is on the line right here. Presumably, they're still running this football. Absolutely, and there's Burks having a monster game. Best case scenario, one more stop here. We get the ball back after a punt, and we live to fight another drive, but they're gonna pass it. No good. He's going to take off Jackson. Woo! That was a huge play. Three points takes us to overtime. A touchdown puts it away. Stadium is loud, understandably, and I almost just blocked a punt. I haven't blocked a punt in one of these games in so long. Return team doesn't feel like blocking today. We got 58 seconds and no timeouts. Good thing this is college football, baby. Every first down, we'll reset this clock. Oh, my God. The safety stepped up to blitz. Clement torches the star. Are we gonna make it? We're not gonna make it. What a play, what a release. The scary thing, are we gonna score too fast? Worst case scenario, we score too fast. Stretch alert, bubble. Hopefully this will pull the safety a little bit to the left and we can just walk this in with Donaldson. It's not looking good, but that's okay. I low-key do want a little bit of this clock to come off. So long as we can still get this in the end zone. Oh my goodness, look at the run angle. Just a mediocre block and we're in the end zone. I'm gonna let a little bit more clock tick. Hand this off. It's gotta be so free. Donaldson! Over the top's not enough. Now it's third and goal. I almost could run it again. I'm gonna. I'm giving it to my boy. They're pinching the D-line. Read option. Donaldson! He's in! With how much on the clock? West Virginia takes the lead with almost no time left. There's nine seconds on the clock, and they need a touchdown. They need everything here. Play over the top. They've got their timeouts. They don't need it all at once, but they need it all. That is the worst thing you could have done right there. Beautiful. Now it's true Hail Mary. We got a guest pass. Hope that we get some pass rush. I've got two on the right side. He's gonna throw left side, presumably. Oh my God, why is he uh so open? Hey! 
little INT to stat pad. You gotta love that classic play call when you check down on Hail Mary down by four. A lot of user input and a massive fourth quarter gives West Virginia a huge win with multiple recruits visiting. But listen, I'm not gonna have user input on all these games and we have to win the natty on Sim. I might play a snap here and there, but I'm not doing that every single game. It was exciting today though to see how these West Virginia guys play. That was a monster game. Garrett Green with an awesome game and a ton of rushing yards, 83 and two touchdowns. Donaldson, 72 and three touchdowns. Wide receivers are not happy. Huge win there, and we can dump some more points into recruiting. Let's work on all of these, really. Gotta be recruiting everything. And let's clean out wide receiver. Beautiful. Just a little Big 12 Offensive Player of the Week. Never hurt nobody. Time to put the hard sell on Duke Westbrook. Marquee Bragg, the five-star, really likes us now. We got a chance with Callow, but our hard sell is not very good. I'm gonna go for it anyway. We're close with North Carolina. Jermaine Harbour I can't hard sell. Playing style D plus. Yikes. Schedule a visit for Iowa State. We are out of hours this week, but we do look good on a lot of these guys. Tashawn Melvin is who I really want. He has a visit for Iowa State, but he's close to committing to Ole Miss. I've done everything I can with him. Oh, I have extra hours now though. Guess I'll search his social media, I guess. Ooh, big commit. Emmett Callow. The four star gem right end is a Mountaineer. That is our first signing, but we took a loss to Oklahoma state and now it's the undefeated cyclones let's go baby dj caraway our next four star commit we need the wide receivers the rest of west virginia's first season was not as good as the first half although indiana's quarterback won heisman that's a first for me we did get a bowl game although it's against north texas so i should hope we win this one and just like that a big bowl game dub in year one we've won the liberty bowl we started out hot but couldn't maintain the steam we lost to texas tech beat ucl Lost to Baylor, got smacked by Cincinnati, beat Arizona, beat Kansas State in a very close victory over the Cyclones. So the end of year one, we're eight and five. I'm gonna be honest though, we didn't land nearly as many recruits as I wanted to. We got some big four stars, but I got snaked by some bigger programs than the rest of those guys. Garrett Green with an amazing season. He ends as a 94 overall. 3,300 yards, 31 and five. Awesome season. Donaldson almost had 1,000 yards and 14 touchdowns. That's an incredible season too. He's only a junior. Bray had a thousand and eleven. And defensively, I think we need to really bolster our pass rush. Pass rush is so good in this game. Six sacks out of Bradley is all right. Lathan had four and a half. And Garns and Tarnu, our corners, had three interceptions apiece. Aubrey Burks with one himself. I'm happy with our record, but we got to be better recruiting in the future. The saddest moment of every rebuild. We got to convince some guys to stay. We got a really good left guard. Stay, buddy. He's decided to stay. Junior corner has decided to stay. Transfer tight end. He's hitting the portal. Backup running back is going to stay. Not bad. Backup D tackle does not stay. And we convinced a freshman to hang out. Now, as for graduation, we lose our best D tackle, our best right end, our best corner, our best guard, our best center. And I think the most brutal hit here, Aubrey Burks, Garrett Green, Wyatt Millam are all gone. Year two is gonna be a tough one. Although Garrett Green is projected to go in the first round, so good for him. Our two biggest signings were the four-star gem Emmett Callow and the four-star DJ Caraway wide receiver. He's not Tavon Austin. I'll be honest, he's not. Garrett Green went in the first round. Congratulations. We were able to snag a few guys in the transfer portal though. Had to pick up a few wide receivers. Paul Cobb, Cedric Pounce, Dwayne Blow. We might have too many wide receivers now, but a good amount of commits in positions that we definitely need. My concern right now is quarterback. I want another Garrett Green. Headed into year two, I think this is where the rebuild really starts. Best players are significantly lower overall. Jaheem White, transfer running back, 94 speed. 95 excel hello he's actually definitely better than donaldson although donaldson has a lot more abilities and he's a senior i think i'm gonna let donaldson rock another year as the starter we got a tough decision here at quarterback nico's our best option but he's only a 78 no way. Oh my goodness. I didn't see this before. Look at Keyshawn Robinson, the sophomore. This is our Tavon Austin. He's got 99 speed, 97 Excel. He's got gold tier shifty. This guy, impact dev trait. I think I got to get him some reps. He's only a sophomore. Let's get him in for Bray, who's a senior. Feels, feels bad doing that, but I think it's got to be done. Moving Keyshawn Robinson to our slot wide receiver, as well as wide receiver three. I'd love to see him progress. 
so that in his senior year, he's a really good overall, and obviously he'll still be that fast. That's two years from now though, and this is gonna be an ugly year. So let's try and get through it alive. Year two was uneventful, so I'll keep it quick. I dare you to try to replicate this. Sam Houston's quarterback, one Heisman. As for West Virginia, we went five and seven. Nico was nowhere near as effective as Garrett Green. Donaldson was as effective as ever though, It'll be sad to see him leave. The good news is our speed demon had a monster season. He went up five overalls, getting 900 yards and eight touchdowns as a sophomore. Keyshawn Robinson, remember the name. Defensively, the junior Trey Lathan had a very solid season. We got one more good year out of him. And Reed Carrico is leaving after this season. He was my favorite linebacker. It's sad to see him leave. We did have an awesome year recruiting though. Sounding a four-star D tackle, a five-star right outside linebacker, Rashawn Isaacs with 92 acceleration, a platinum winning time, and it remains to be seen on his speed. We picked up a four-star right guard, a five-star corner, a four-star athlete, remains to be seen what position he will be, and finally landed a good quarterback, DeAndre Booth. Field general, hoping he looks really good so we can start to develop him. That'll put a pin on year two, and and that brings us to persuasions. TJ Crandall, I really would like to keep him. Our corners aren't great. I need him. Yes. He's gonna stay. Zachariah Keith has not been persuaded. And a redshirt freshman 75 overall center is crazy good. To be that young, he's not staying either. Tough. Donaldson and Carrico have graduated. One of our best corners graduates as well. And a really good punter, but honestly, that's not that bad. Just for shits and gigs, I wanna see what Keyshawn Robinson would look like if he was a running back. He would be an 83 overall receiving back with 99 speed. That is actually so unbelievably tempting, except my current starter, Jaheim White, is already an 85 overall with 94 speed we should keep him as a wide receiver but it would be really funny all right the year three roster way too many seniors look at how many of these guys other than jason cross who's looking incredible as a redshirt sophomore senior 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 Ooh, that's ugly we're gonna lose a lot of guys this year it's gonna be a big season now that said Keyshawn robinson now a 78 overall he has platinum tier shifty that's this is literally our Davon austin we gotta make sure that he has an awesome senior season now for the core Quarterback room, Nico is now an 84 overall. I think we red shirt DeAndre Booth and then he can be the starter next year. Nico's gotta be our starter for this season. But Booth is already a really good 74 overall. I'm gonna give him the red shirt. Defensively, Jason Cross is going to be super good. This dude could easily be a 90 overall if not higher. Corners are getting marginally better. Crandall, Wingate, Jackson all look solid. Ricky Williams, damn, he's looking real good. Ben Cutter in his senior year is looking solid. Solid. And Trey Lathan, dude, look at Rashawn Isaacs, right outside linebacker with 93 speed, 92 excel, true freshman. You have to be starting somewhere. I'm moving Rashawn Isaacs to my starting middle linebacker. This guy is so good. Ben Cutter can be the backup middle linebacker. He's, I'm sorry, Ben. That guy's a freak. There's Emmett Callow, who is now a starter. This was the four-star gem. I'm glad that he's a starter. Both of our edge rushers are sophomores right now. Offensive line is certainly getting better. And Garrett Morton, we got a really good blocking tight end. Team looks good for year three. Season opener was a loss to Iowa State, and now we're hosting Alabama. But I'm gonna be honest, it would be a crime to not get some reps with Keyshawn Robinson. We'll probably lose this game, that's for sure. But I gotta see this man in action. This would be a gnarly upset to pull off. Off. Keyshawn Robinson, the second coming of Tavon Austin with platinum tier shifty. It's a night game. We got Nico in the backfield with Jaheim White. Keyshawn Robinson is lined up in the slot here. And that blitz is so hot that no man on earth could have thrown that football. Oh my Lord, it's gonna be a long night. I just gotta find my man in the flats. He's got 99 speed and he's real shifty. I've never used a player with platinum tier shifty. They got two high safeties, but I like, can, can I beam him? That's single coverage technically. Oh my God, no, the safety's gonna get there. And he's short. Yeah, he's not, he's not exactly a jump up and moss someone type guy. I'm gonna give him a zig route. Hopefully this is man coverage. It's not. I just gotta get this pass off. Jaheim White, drop. Oh, he's tired already. He's out of the ball game. Dude, you can't even throw the ball against Bama. You got about two seconds until they're on you. We managed to turn Bama over though, the defense. What a play. All right, I don't have to go to him every single time. We got a stud running back too. Down to the one. Let's just punch this in inside zone and we're gonna strike first against the Crimson Tide here. Good. 
That's just too easy. Look at the blocks. Are we really gonna beat Bama? Bama scores a quick touchdown of their own. I can't just stare down Keyshawn, but if he's open, I want him. A beautiful throw there. I didn't realize it till now, but Nico is a lefty. Beautiful, finding Keyshawn out in the flats. He is so unbelievably fast. He broke one ankle, but not two. Don't tell me you just got a holding on that play. That's a crime. Xavier, buddy, you're about to get benched for that. See if Keyshawn can't take him deep, no? He's got single coverage over there. Oh my goodness, don't tell me. Keyshawn! Keyshawn Robinson is a glitch. Hey, this is exactly what we wanted to do with West Virginia. I just don't know that I have my Geno yet. Hatback's open in the flat, but the pass rush. Fourth and 21. Are we gonna upset Bama today? Well, it's 14 to 14. Keyshawn's got a corner out. If that is single coverage, I feel legally obligated to throw it to him. Stop it. Dude, that was actually good coverage. He's just too fast. It's 21 to 17. This is the second quarter. Same route, corner route, Keyshawn Robinson. You better not man that up. Ooh, let's take the, oh my God, I thought that was a hitch. Shit, I'm selling. I thought that was a hitch. It was a spot and go route and I thought it was a hitch. Bama was able to score, but it looks like we scored two. Or do I have this wrong? We're gonna go to our boy Jaheim. He's also a stud. He's got the spin ability too. Nice. Play action, power O. This is a very different look. I don't think it's open. I'm gonna step up with Nico and he'll take three yards. I'm gonna send Keyshawn across the face. Is this a blitz? No, they're gonna drop back. They're doubling him. Oh, I got flushed out. Third and 16. Let's see if they can stop this here. Oh my God, All right. can we watch that again? How on earth did you get to me so fast? Did anybody touch you? It's gonna be a tough field goal. Pretty good accuracy, good power. I hate kicking field goals so much. I hate it so much. If we lose to Bama by three, I'm gonna cry. Well, I clicked away and Bama scored 20 points. Wow. Hey, it's, it's an awesome game for Keyshawn. And that's a dot to Farmer. And he fumbled. When it rains, it pours. Let's get Keyshawn in space. Ooh. Spin is not as good. See if Keyshawn can get this corner strike route. Oh, that's manned up. Good luck. Good luck guarding that. Ooh, great way to guard it. I'll miss the throw. Another man coverage, dude. That big linebacker is never gonna guard Keyshawn. It's never gonna happen. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a loss, but Keyshawn Robinson is the real, the real deal, dude. This guy's the truth. I'm gonna send him one more. Why not? Stop. Oh, good defense. I thought he got that. All right, he's a little gas now. He's finally come out the game. I'll take our half back here. There's Jaheim. Let's call a timeout. Let's give the fans one more touchdown against Bama if we can. That's the goal here. I'm gonna go with Zig on Keyshawn. It's manned up. Oh, it's shit. Wait, let's make something happen. Let's make something happen, Nico! One second, time out! We're gonna have one final play. Are you man covering the GOAT? Let's give him an out route. That's just, it's gotta be, right? Mmm, it doesn't have to be. Good defense, Bama. Honestly, if I gotta drop a 60 bomb to win against Bama, it's gonna be tough to win. Bama's a monster for sure. We got shut out in the second half, but Keyshawn Robinson is the real deal. That's for sure. Eight receptions for 175 yards and two touchdowns. Rick Darius Farmer also put up 108. The rest of year three was a lot less rocky for the Mountaineers. Dylan Riola won the Heisman. Congratulations. And we got ourselves a bowl game against the Wyoming Cowboys who are ranked 19th in the nation. Sadly, we couldn't repeat year one, a two-point loss to the Cowboys. We did win some big games though, beating Utah, Oklahoma State, taking a loss to Cincinnati, beating Virginia Tech, beating Arizona, a close win against Houston, smacking Kansas, smacking TCU, beating Texas Tech, and beating East Carolina. We caught fire in the latter half of the season, and in Nico's final year, he almost got up to 4,000 passing yards in a season, 37 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Jaheim White, proving to be one of the best backs we've ever had. His senior year has got a thousand yards and nine touchdowns. And look at Keyshawn Robinson. Brings music to my ears, man. 1,300 yards, 15 touchdowns in his junior year, meaning his senior year should be even better. And he ends the season as an 80 overall. We still have off-season training, so he's gonna get even better. Farmer put up 909 and eight. And defensively, we finally see a double-digit sack season out of Ricky Williams. And Rashawn Isaacs, this is that 91 speed, 93 excel linebacker.
linebacker, 81 tackles, three TFLs, a sack, and two interceptions. I love this guy. TJ Crandall, senior year, three interceptions. Nice work. Headed into year four, something that I have literally never seen just occurred. Since when has this been possible? Rick Darius Farmer, in the offseason, went from 95 speed to 99. He has 99 agility now and 99 change of direction. He is a spitting image of Keyshawn Robinson. I had no idea that this could happen. And before the casuals go shouting in the comments, you cannot edit player ratings in College Football 25. You can do it in Madden, but you can't edit player ratings. I have no idea how this just occurred. But all of a sudden, not only has DJ Carraway, the guy we recruited two years back, become an absolute standout as a sophomore. He's at 87 overall as a sophomore. He's our best wide receiver. But Rick Darius Farmer is now the exact same overall year and speed as Keyshawn Robinson. We've got two Tavon Austins and a standout sophomore at wide receiver. We have the best wide receivers we probably will ever have, but there's a problem. And that problem is Nico just left. Now, DeAndre Booth, Red shirting him was a good call in his freshman year. He's a 79 overall. He is definitely our best quarterback, at least for now. But I mean, this is the worst that he's gonna be. So now we have these God tier wide receivers paired up with a freshman red shirt quarterback. I can't be too concerned though, because he does look pretty solid. 84, 87, 81 in his accuracies and 93 throw power. So he can lob that puppy up to these speed demons. This could be an insanely high powered offensive year. Not to mention Jaheim White left, but filling in his shoes is our transfer portal pickup, Trayvon Dunbar. 95 speed, 95 excel, 99 agility. This is the fastest team I've ever built, by far. The only thing that's really not that fast is our tight end, but TJ Johnson will get the job done. Offensive line looks really solid. They're just well-rounded. Elijah Kinsler, 84 overall left end, 83 overall right end. D tackles both look okay. Ricky Williams looks really good. Our standout middle linebacker transferred. I forgot about that. I tried to persuade him he didn't stay, which is crazy because he put up he put up such a good season. These guys have good stats. This is a red shirt freshman here, Deontay Higby, so he can develop. He's just not that good right now. Now. Vilma's a sophomore. Ben Fernandez looks like he could end up being really good, but our linebackers are weak this year. We cannot start Jeremy Magan, dude. This is a starting corner with 84 speed. Let's sub in Barry Carden, get him reps early. Our free safeties are disgusting. Jason Cross and Marcus Morant. We actually have too many good safeties. I'll probably start Marcus Morant at strong safety. This could be a really, really good year, but it's just, it's, it's kind of ugly. To have a freshman quarterback with this roster is ugly. Keyshawn's gonna be the starter and the slot wide receiver. It's his senior year. Dunbar's got to get every single rep at halfback. This dude is a stud. And then my strong safety needs to be Morant. Dude, my safeties are so good. Marcus Morant at strong safety and Jason Cross only a junior at free safety. And then let's get Jeremy Magan subbed out for Barry Carden. Barry Carden is young and a really low overall, but at least he's got the speed to keep up with these absolute demons. And I just accidentally auto reset the entire jump chart. Could be a really good season for DeAndre Booth though. Dude, 299 speed wide receivers is so crazy. Here's what our board looks like right now. Looking at corners, defense, definitely need outside linebackers. Here's Morris Klutz, 87 speed, 89 excel. He looks really good. Jake Uphoff, literally the exact same guy. He looks really good too. If we can land some corners, some outside linebackers, this would be a good class. And just as we say it, look who won Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week, Marcus Morant. Glad I started him. Rick Darius Farmer won all Offensive player of the week, 11 receptions, 163 touchdowns, bro. He's wide receiver three, and he's not slot wide receiver. That's a disgusting stat line. We still lost to Bama, though. A win over Kansas State and Oklahoma State, but a loss to Ohio. We're two and two, taking on Colorado. I want to play this game. It's the senior year for our 299 speed demons. 85 overall versus 86. Let's play ball. Opening drive, DeAndre Booth, the freshman. Well, dude, if you're a freshman QB, what more could you ask for? There's so many monsters out here to throw the ball to. And as I say that, DeAndre Booth's gonna take off. I can't believe he got out of that. Look at this play. This play's actually disgusting. It's too bad I don't have any wide receivers in right now. Otherwise, this could be a lot better. I'm just gonna go Dunbar. Dunbar is fast, dude. Keyshawn Robinson's on a wheel here. If that safety doesn't drop all the way back, this is a touchdown. Let's see. That's a wheel route. Oh my God, that's a, such a touchdown. Third and 17, we need a lot of yards here. I think I have the solution. It's called Rick Darius Farmer and Keyshawn Robinson. <laughs> Stop it, man. To the house. Dude, maybe it's Rick Darius Farmer's here. Going for two like a psycho. 
No way you caught that. DJ Caraway, stop. It's a close ball game right now, 15 to 14. We're gonna try and power it through just to get the first, and we do. Trayvon Dunbar, nice work. I dare you to man up Keyshawn Robinson. Oh, that's a blitz. I'm gonna take the tight end. Oh, he barely catches it, gets to the edge. First and goal. Who's gonna punch this one in? Caraway's got a touchdown already. DJ Caraway was one of our earliest recruits, and I low key trust him on the jump ball. Pass rush in this game will make you question your life. Ooh, Booth is gonna get out to the left. It's all DeAndre Booth, the freshman. Doing a little showboating in Colorado. 29 to 21 in the second quarter. Keyshawn, I'm, I'm leading him inside. That's so gross. That actually was possible. Stepping up in the pocket, taking our time here. DeAndre breaking it. Dude, he's huge. DeAndre Booth is six foot five. It's a Keyshawn Robinson touchdown. I mean, like, how could you possibly stop that if you're not in the right set? You can't be running single high safety. I will play some defense too. 36 to 28, big defensive stop. I'm on our best defensive player, Jason Cross. And that's a draw and it's got daylight. 36 to 34, that two point conversion coming in clutch. Barely holding on to this lead. Dante Higby here. Oh, he goes over the middle, cross! Ryan Staub of Colorado is lighting us up. Cross, you can fill this. Oh, easy, no, he cuts it back. Colorado just took the lead. I don't get to play offense. We did not score, 36 to 41. This is the game on the line here. Five point game. Yep, they're gonna burn some clock. Hand it off, Jason Cross is gonna get a huge hit. I need a fumble. All right, they're back in a run, second and nine. Cross. Sinking up close, gotta get off it. Nice, five wide, huge stop for the game right here. Oh, I saw it a second late and you are so fast. Third and four, wait a minute, this game's not over. This game's not over at all. Is this a handoff? Oh my God, this game's not over. Fourth and six timeout, 43 to 48. I don't know how it's not over, but it's a five point game. This is gonna be a punt. We'll have 30 seconds and no timeouts. This is such a high scoring game. All right, 24 seconds. This has got Keyshawn Robinson written all over it. Or maybe Farmer. There's two high safeties. They're doubling Keyshawn. Oh my God, stop it. Fucking instant pass rush. Okay, looks like we're gonna get a little bit of time here. We gotta throw fast. I'm going Farmer. Oh my God, he got it. That's a first down. Let's go. Get up there. Same play. We gotta go yard. We gotta get everything here. I don't know how much time is left. I can't see it. Four seconds. Single coverage on Keyshawn. Can he go all the way? Keyshawn Robinson. Zero seconds. Colorado, what are you doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's our Tavon Austin. Are you kidding me? What a rocket from the freshman. Can't throw that any better. Colorado runs single coverage on the fastest wide receiver in the nation. 49 to 48, West Virginia just pulled off one of the craziest games you'll ever see in college football. That's what? 520 passing yards and seven touchdowns. That's gotta be a record. That's gotta be a record for DeAndre Booth. I didn't even do half of those. The Sim did the other half. Single game passing yards record, Geno Smith, 656. So we didn't get that one. Single game passing touchdown, Geno Smith eight. Oh my God, wait, I, I didn't break any records with that. Regardless, it was an absolutely insane game. Booth just put up the stat line of a lifetime. Farmer had 186 and two, Keyshawn had 160 and three. That is the craziest one two punch you're ever gonna see. And ironically, Caraway is technically our best wide receiver and he had um, 34 yards. Oh, he had a two point conversion, not a touchdown. Even if the rest of this season is incredible, that was the sickest game ever. That was awesome. We're also three and zero in the big 12. The best we've done in the Big 12 so far. We are sitting right at the top with Utah, who is 4-0. The rest of the season went amazing for the Mountaineers. Finishing the season 8-4, ranked at 15th in the nation, and the script writers were in their bag. Because guess who we're taking on in the Big 12 championship? It's the Colorado Buffaloes. They're gonna get a rematch, and they are hungry. They have been heartbroken all season that they even lost that game. And damn, are they a good team. They're ninth in the nation at 9-3. Winning this game would guarantee us a spot in the college football playoffs. Oh my God, DeAndre Booth, 4,000 yards, 43 and seven. Now this is a historic first year for Booth, but I will say, I wonder how much of that is because of our wide receivers. I'm a little worried. Farmer with 1,216, Robinson with 1,217. That is so ridiculous. Caraway had to take a back seat, but I'm not gonna lie. He's gotta be so excited because heading into his junior year, he is the true number one. There's nobody that can compete with him, but it's really sad for our boy Keyshawn Robinson and Rick Darius Farmer. Defensively, we got 10 and a half out of Ricky and eight and a half out of Fagan. Here's the thing, Ricky is, is a pass coverage
average linebacker. He's getting 10 and a half sacks. Five interceptions out of Jordan Jackson. Hey, Jeremy Majin, how did you get three interceptions and only two tackles? When did you come in? Dude played 117 downs and had three interceptions. That's so impressive. I cannot believe the season these two just put up, but I am worried for DeAndre Booth. He might be like a yak merchant right now. I can just see him all season long throwing checkdowns and these dudes are just taking it to the house. Averaging 18 per catch and 19 per catch. That's crazy. I will say though, the only record we really could break, if DeAndre Booth can continue to do this, he could beat Geno's record, but Geno's record is so gross. On Geno's career, he threw 12,000 passing yards. So DeAndre Booth's got to average 3,000 a season and he'll beat it. He should absolutely be able to do that, barring an injury. DeAndre Booth though, can we clap it up for the freshman, man? DeAndre Booth, 80 overall. Impact, six foot five, he's a big boy. Recruiting went incredible for us. We got a true five-star D tackle. Now, he's a busted gem, but he's still a five-star, so this dude's a stud. Rakeem Sermon. We got Tyrese Crenshaw, a right tackle. We got Bigham's left guard. We got two five-star D tackles. A new 96-speed wide receiver will be entering next year. He's six foot four. Really excited about him. So those are our notable signings, and as you can tell, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm gonna have to call it for today. You won't notice anything different, but the next game is the Big 12 Championship. We may be seeing a college football playoff entry here. I mean, technically this season's not over. So if somehow we could win it all with Keyshawn Robinson as a senior, could be electric. Big 12 championship, boys. The Cinderella story is alive. As a quick review, here's the best lineup we've ever had at West Virginia. Our best player is our junior free safety, Jason Cross. We've got not one, but two 99 speed wide receivers in Keyshawn Robinson and Rick Darius Farmer. And my quarterback as a freshman, DeAndre Booth, is having a spectacular season. We've also got a Speed Demon Halfback, Trayvon Dunbar. We got him in the transfer portal. 95 speed, 95 excel, 99 agility. It's 2027. I didn't think we'd even have a shot at this, but if I can win this Big 12 championship, I'm going to the college football playoffs. Colorado is an 88. We're an 85. It's an uphill battle, but I believe. Ooh, the Big 12 championship. There's Deontay Higby. Opening drive, let's make this count. I literally feel like a merchant, but I swear to God, I could just hit X on like... Okay, I got sacked, but I feel like I could win the Natty right now if I just tap their button in single coverage. Okay, never mind. Colorado's pass rush is god tier. I have not been able to throw at all. Third and 16. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, he fucking fried him. <laughs> okay, I I don't feel good doing this. I gotta go play the moments. I'm gonna give us a touchdown and then I gotta step away. I gotta see what the boys can do without this because this is gross. They're probably double covering already. There's Rick Darius Farmer, but I overthrew it by a country mile, by a country road mile. Anybody? Okay, I'm sorry. Second and 10. Let's not forget about Dunbar. They don't just make 90. Okay, let's forget about Dunbar. You're never touching the ball ever again. What on earth was that, buddy? I'm just kidding. Dunbar, I trust in you. We're going slip screen to the boy. Good block. Good block. It's fourth and two. We're going aggressive early. Look at how easy this run looks, though. We gotta hand this off, right? Oh my god, it doesn't. Dude, Colorado's block sheds are crazy. Well, you can't say I had an input, because I clearly didn't. It is still zero to zero. Big. Did I just drop two balls? What on earth was that? Now it's seven to zero and Colorado's got the ball. How did we just drop two passes? Don't tell me we got all the way to the Big 12 championship to play like this. Get home. Good sack. Going for a big blitz here. See if they block halfback. No, halfback's got a route. Damn. And an absolute laser. Second and 10, I gotta trust West Virginia defense. Dude, I don't know why we're dropping the ball so much today. Oh, get home. Third and 24. Ricky Williams is our best pass rusher, no doubt. He's a linebacker. Well, I mean, linebacker's a good pass rusher. There's Ricky Williams again. Knocked Colorado out of range. They're gonna be forced to kick a field goal here. We got 44 seconds to go score. Drills the field goal, 10-0. All right, first and 10, 37 seconds. Let's see what DeAndre Booth has got. He's got sacked is what he's got. Rick Darius Farmer, huge catch. I was getting worried there. We're out of timeouts. One play before the end of half. Gotta go to the GOAT, man. Don't tell me. Colorado literally never learns. They never learn! Dude, I'm a, I'm a Keyshawn Robinson merchant, and you can't convince me otherwise. All right, I'm, I'm putting the boys on top, and then I'm watching the rest of this game. Okay, he's double covered now. Looks like they got wise. There's a first and 10. We do have two 86 overall halfbacks, so we've got a little 
you know, dual-headed dragon here. Fake jet hatback wheel. I think I can throw to Keyshawn on this. I can. So we can just kind of get him in space and use that platinum tier shifty. There's 10 yards off of that. Single coverage. Uh-oh. There's a safety there. But there's a flag as well. Oh, it's a holding. All right, after the penalty, we're getting another penalty. False start. Dude, what's going on today? All right, two straight penalties. I'm going to Dunbar. I just, I want to pick up some positive yards here. And that's some positive yards. They're going to leave the tight end. Let's go. Ooh, quick throw in here to Gallagher. He's probably excited just to get the ball. <laughs> Rodney Gallagher with how many good wide receivers we have. Press coverage on Keyshawn Robinson. That's what we call bold. <laughs> that was not press coverage. That was zone. But we thread the needle. Keyshawn's got another one. Colorado scores back to back. But we find ourselves in the red zone. 24 to 14. It's third and one. This is a big conversion. Caught. Who else? Keyshawn Robinson. Are we going to get another last second victory against Colorado? First and goal. Motioning. Dunbar over. DeAndre Booth. And zone! He's wide open! Is that Rodney Gallagher again? He's a happy camper today, dude. Big time. Rick Darius Farmer dropped a huge pass earlier. So everybody else has got to step up right now. Make it 21 to 24. All right, let's see what this defense can do on first and 10. Colorado probably wants to chew the clock, so expect a handoff. There it is. Stuffed. We absolutely have a chance to win this game. That's another handoff. We've got the angle. Big time. Third and 10. Colorado probably looking to pass here. West Virginia we are in press coverage right now. That kind of scares me. Press coverage. Good defense. Check down. Tackled easily. Fourth and ten. It's going to be our ball. Colorado gains no yards on a crucial drive. And they're punting it to Rick Darius Farmer with 99 speed. But that is a weak punt. We're going to fair catch this. And we're already in range. Oh, my goodness, boys. First and ten. Quick throw into a pit of buffaloes. That's scary. DeAndre Booth. Five wide, bunch to the left, two out to the right. Booth, surveying, gets it off, good. Almost a sack, he'll take the check down for six. We are not in field goal range. This is the biggest play of this drive right here. We will, we'll probably pooch punt this if we can't get it, unless it's inches. DeAndre Booth, quick throw, dropped. That's gonna be a pooch punt. Oh, that was a crucial drive, boys. We need a little bit more than that. Defenses are stepping up right now. Let's see how good the punter is. Puts it right out of bounds, probably around the 20. Not the best punt. There's a quick throw out to the right. That was some of the saddest screen coverage I've ever seen. Luckily, he went out of bounds, so the clock is stopped. This has got to be a handoff. It is. Like, why are we running four deep safeties against an obvious run play? Colorado's in scoring range now. There's another quick throw. This one's tackled quick. Now it's the two-minute warning. Got to get a stop quick because a few first downs, they just end it. But if they take a field goal, we could beat them by one again. Jet touch pass, a deadly play, a very clearly deadly play. Touchdown, Colorado. Oh my God. Oh my God, I was getting ready to sim to the end of the game. We scored a quick touchdown and we have the ball. Looks like Colorado got nothing and we just threw a heave to Rick Darius Farmer. This game's not over at all, dude. Colorado will never learn. They will never, ever learn. I shouldn't say that though. They have three timeouts. We have none. There's a minute 20. Dude, I literally was simming to the end of the game just to see the score and all of a sudden we had the ball and a touchdown. Okay, Colorado cannot send it into overtime with a field goal. They have to get a touchdown. We need some pass rush right now and we got it. Although he gets the ball off, they don't have to burn a timeout. Great pass rush right there. Do it again. Four man rush every time. I love that. Somebody get home. Quick throw. No, these Colorado screen passes are deadly. We can't take an angle to save our lives. Quick throw over the middle. Love that. Got to burn a timeout. Four off to the left, one receiver on the right. We got a four man rush. Come on, get home. Get home. No. But it's caught. They got to burn another timeout. Colorado's offense. These screen plays are killing us. First and 10. We got to sack the QB. Sacking the QB is how we get out of this pit right now. Uh-oh. Laser end zone. Oh, no. We need one more Rick Darius Farmer miracle. We need one more Keyshawn Robinson miracle. Although, with 52 seconds, all we need is a field goal to send this OT. Dude, this game just opened up. Let's see how the return can be. Going nowhere. We need everything and more. We got 48 seconds. I'd love the touchdown. That's a hold. It's 100% a hold. And you're going to check down in bounds. I think if they accept the holding, it does stop the clock. And I'd imagine they will accept the holding. They declined. No, they accepted the holding. So the clock is stopped, which is honestly really big since we have no timeouts. First and 19. Booth 
Stop checking the ball down when we are losing with no time and no timeouts. You're coming out here and spike. Now you're gonna spike it and make it third and 50. You guys are fucking morons. What kind of offensive play calling is this? Third and 15, 30 seconds. I'd take a miracle. I would, if you check that down to the hatback, I will sh Oh. Oh my God, it's caught. Caraway first down, that stops the clock. At least for a bit. 22 seconds, don't, don't spike it. There's no point, you're already in a pass set. Okay, whatever. 18 seconds, second and 10, we're approaching the 50. That pass rush, that Colorado pass rush is flying on us. We need just a little bit of time, gentlemen. Let Booth get it off, he does! Caught! Out of bounds? Is that out of bounds? Technically, forward progress says that should be inbounds. It is inbounds. We got nine, eight. This clock management has been Pitiful, but it still isn't over. Second and 10 with eight seconds left. We either got to get a quick shot, a spike, and a field goal, or you got to go yard. Booth! Booth is going yard! It's going to be fully blanketed. Oh my fucking God. That was... I don't even think Colorado beat us. I think we beat ourselves. That was so sad. Oh, that was so hard to watch. Booth had 5, 13, and 5, and we just lost. Oh! Dude, I think the more depressing thing is we lose our 99 speed demons. That's what sucks. We lose our dogs now. The Cinderella story comes to an end, but DeAndre Booth is just putting up electric numbers. 5, 13, 5, and 2. Colorado got their revenge. Big 12 championship, 38 to 35. GG's. GG's. Keyshawn Robinson, nine receptions, three touchdowns, 240 yards in his final college football game. I hope he goes to the league, dude. He should go to the league. Keyshawn Robinson did go to the league, actually. He was the only one of my guys to go to the league. Uh, he went in the second round. Now, Tavon Austin in real life went in the first round, but I think this is pretty damn close. That's actually really exciting. Also, we're now a four-star program, so that is huge. Landing recruits can be a lot easier. We lose Keyshawn. We lose Rick Darius Farmer. That's horrible, but DeAndre Booth's only a freshman. Jason Cross has another year. We'll definitely be back. All right, following the Speed Demon season, here's what we're looking at. We're actually the highest overall we've ever been, which is awesome. Jason Cross, still our best player. He's now got platinum to your house call, and he's in his senior year. Elijah Kinsler, he was so good for us last season, and now he's a senior as well. Fajin, who we recruited ourselves, is in 86 as a junior. Caraway, we recruited ourselves, and same with Thomas Cohn. So all three of these guys were really good picks. Callow, right end, is now entering his prime a lot of these guys are ending their prime. There's Keon Wingate, Nate Gabriel. Ben Fernandez, now a sophomore, 84 overall, 84 speed, 88 excels, an outside linebacker. I really like him. DeAndre Booth is an 83 overall, entering his sophomore year, so he's definitely developing well. Higby's only a sophomore, Deontay Higby. Our linebackers got way better. We did lose Trayvon Dunbar in the transfer portal. Thomas Cohn is good, but he's not as fast. I like fast halfbacks. Yeah, it's really sad looking at this wide receiver group. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Caraway is nice. He's only a junior. Cobb, dude's got press bro platinum tier, uh, but he's, he's slow. 84 speed. We still have uh, Gage Murchison. He's a young freshman. We recruited this guy 96 speed and he's six foot four, but man, I miss miss my 99 speed guys. I really do. Tight ends look pitiful. O-line continues to just be solid. My defensive line is the best it's ever been. I got 88s on both sides of the ball and an 84 and, an, and two 82 D tackles. My corners other than Wingate are all sophomores. It's actually really nice. I expect this season to be a slight regression, but when DeAndre Booth is a senior, I think we can make a really big push. As far as recruiting for 2028, now that we're a four-star program, I'm pretty much exclusively looking at four and five stars. Um, a potential quarterback replacement for Booth if that doesn't pan out. If Booth doesn't pan out, we can't win anything. We're going to be into like 2032, 2033 to potentially win something, which I'd prefer to do it sooner. And of course, once again, I'm trying to replace Keyshawn Robinson. I found Maka Savoye, uh, Jay Eason. None of these guys are as fast though. Sean Hasty, 96 speed, 94 excel, 5 foot 9. I mean, we're getting closer. I'll keep you updated, but I expect these next two seasons to be pretty quick until the team is ready. 2028 was a pretty big regression. We we went down to seven and five, but landed a bowl game against UNLV. And after winning that bowl game against the Rebels, we could look back at a pretty solid sophomore season for DeAndre Booth, who had 3,900 yards, 31 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Halfbacks were nothing spectacular, and no more monster seasons for our wide receivers, although Paul Cobb did put up 1,209 touchdowns 
with Nathan McLaurin getting 12, and DJ Caraway, a decent season for the junior. Defensively, Deontay Fagan, 11 and a half sacks, and four interceptions for Keon Wingate. That was his final season. The 2029 season features some of the best players we've ever had. Fagan in his senior year is a 93 overall. Caraway's got two platinum tier abilities in Cutter and Press Pro. And DeAndre Booth enters the season as an 83 overall junior, but take a look at this. Last season, we lost five games. We went from a four star to a three star like that. I, I don't know why that happened. Hopefully we can get half a star back this season. But the best thing we did was Gage Murchison. I really don't know how it works, but in the off season, these players are getting significant boosts to their attributes. Well, Gage Murchison, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Keep in mind, you can't manually upgrade these. So they're automatically getting chosen, I think at random. Same thing that happened with Rick Darius Farmer. Murchison was a 96 speed last season. Now as a sophomore, he's 99. So boost. Booth now has his God tier wide receiver once again, but this time Booth is a lot higher overall. But in 2029, we find ourselves ranked again. 18th in the nation, we got the Pop-Tarts Bowl versus Virginia. We went nine and three, so a big step up from last season. DeAndre Booth, almost 4,000 yards, 41 and nine, a very similar season to last season. And this is exactly what I, oh my God, that's an insane season. Gage Murchison, 1,350, 16 touchdowns. Who knew all you need is a 99 speed, 99 excel, six foot four wide receiver, and you can turn things around. Shocker. Fagan's final season had 10 and a half sacks. It's gonna be sad when we lose him. Najee Irwin, the junior with four interceptions. I think next Next season is our is our next big opportunity to actually make a push here. Okay, so we went back to a four-star program, but now we're an 82 overall. The good news, of course, is DeAndre Booth. <laughs> this is so funny. DeAndre Booth has gotten insanely fast, but his overall hasn't gone up. So this is kind of exactly what I'm talking about with this off-season training stuff, right? So Booth is a field general. His whole career, he's had like 80 speed, but in all of these off seasons, apparently he's been maxing out quickness. In fact, he's actually a fully maxed quarterback. He couldn't get any better. Looks like his accuracy tops out where it currently is, but he's now insanely fast. We have a ton of really good depth at the quarterback position. Lots of really good options if we can't pan it out with DeAndre Booth this season. Wayne Hubbard's in his senior year. He's a 91 overall. We have the best overall weapons, I'd say, right now, but only one speed demon wide receiver. That's Gage Murchison in his junior year. 99 speed, 99 excel. He's six foot four, though. Offensive line, is all 84 overall or higher, but my defense isn't as good as it used to be. We have Godwin at left end. We have Avery at right end. D tackles have taken a slight regression. Ken Giamello, 91 speed, 89 excel, sitting at an 88 overall. Deontay Higby's entering his senior year. He's looking solid. And Ben Fernandez. We have really fast, really strong linebackers. Corners are okay, just slow. Jeremy Majin, I just have to sub him out. 84 speed as a corner is such a liability, but Barry Carden can start there. Xavier Jordan at free safety and Courtney Roach at strong safety. It's not our highest overall, but I really, really like our team. The fact that DeAndre Booth now has 93 speed, 97 excel as a senior is so funny to me. I thought he was going to get up to like a 99 overall, but instead he just got super fast. All right, I'm moving Barry Carden into the lineup. I'll move him up a little bit higher. Every single one of my corner is a senior. This would be a really good year to win it all. We've got DeAndre Booth as a senior looking to break Geno Smith's record this season. Let's see how it's looking. After that hot nine and three season, we start out eight in the nation. I still need to stay on top of recruiting. I know that I've kind of fast forwarded through a lot of that in these last two years, but I had a good feeling we weren't going to make the national championship or even the playoffs. And I was right. So I didn't want to waste too much time. If we can't win it right now, it's going to be another three, four years. I have a feeling. So we're looking at four and five stars. So here's a few of the big names that we just secured. Got a four star corner, a four star free safety, a five star corner, Daquan Clay. This is exciting. I have not landed a five star corner until right now. Dude, it's got 99 speed, a 99 speed five-star corner. So even if we can't win it right now, I feel really, really good. Um, Couple more four stars, got a five-star gem right end. I'm gonna be honest, I did not know that was possible. I thought the gem meant that they were technically one star above. So does that make Stefan Gilliam a six star? I don't know, but his base stats are crazy, crazy good. Redshirting this guy and then seeing him the next season, he's probably already gonna be about an 80 overall. So he's gonna be a monster along with a four-star safety. Kind of revamping the defense along with keeping a wide receiver in the mix. Um, Wayne Vales will see. It was a really good recruiting season. It helps that we went nine and three and we're eighth in the nation, I will say that. Frank Ricks out of LSU wins the Heisman and we should have a college football. This is our first college football playoff game. Hey, 
baby! Taking on the Pittsburgh Panthers, who are fourth in the nation. Now, remember when I said I wanted Garrett Green again? DeAndre Booth is now that, since he has 93 speed. We were 6-3 and three in the Big 12. Pittsburgh was 8-0. and oh. I don't know that I've ever seen a Pittsburgh team be this good. I don't know what happened with them, but I want to go check out this roster before we play. Pittsburgh's got an 87 overall and a 90 defense. They got a 93 overall quarterback and so many studs. Look at this. Two insane right ends, an insane D tackle, outside linebacker, and a 99 speed corner. Nick Westerman. Yeah, this team is really good. It's exciting to see a different team too. I, I never see Pittsburgh. If we can't make this push, we've got a ton of good recruits, but my goal is to win it right now. I'm playing the moments. Come on, Mountaineers. We finally punched our ticket. Now, we didn't even make the Big 12 championship this year, so we're obviously not going to get a bye, but hey, we got a shot. And that's really all that matters. Pittsburgh. I've, ne I've literally never played Pittsburgh. I'm really excited for this game. Those helmets look sick. Dude, Wayne Hubbard is on 94 overall right now. We've got the opening drive here. I'm going Wayne Hubbard. Booth is fast. <laughs> Booth is very fast. That's so exciting. In a big truck. DeAndre Booth, buddy. I would love to get you a chip. Hubbard. Damn it, they nerfed the spin, but you're still a 94. Woo! Wayne Hubbard is a savage. Let's take a shot. They didn't give me Gabe Murchison for no reason. Just kidding. Oh, but the safety. The safety is staring down. Gabe Murchison just leaves that seam wide open. Oh my goodness. We got to give him a fade. We're going a fade to Gabe Murchison. Here we go. Back shoulder fade. Just kidding. Oh, they have that option in this game? Dude, I didn't know they brought that back. Yo, if you hit LT when you're scrambling, you automatically become a ball carrier. You can actually like juke and shit. Yeah, just like that. Oh my God, I didn't know that. It used to be a feature in Madden, but then they took it out. I didn't know that they brought it back. Wayne Hubbard, third and inches, 94 overall, 84 O-line. You were built for this, buddy. Low key, I could have probably ran that in, but I just, I want to reset the sticks. Let's get on the board first. Make this a little bit easier for us. What is this play? Okay, got a little zone run and some spectacular blocking. West Virginia, quiet the crowd. Shh. Press coverage, Gabe Murchison. What are you smoking, buddy? I got to get this hot rod off though. I just hot rodded it four times, now five times. Six times, he got it. So you're smoking dick. You're smoking dick. He's got 99 speed, he's 6'4! That's basically Randy Moss, that's basically Julio Jones, that's Megatron! Don't play with me! Pittsburgh got a field goal. Oh my god, you press cover him one more time, dude. Why are you press covering Gabe Murchison? That safety better peel back so hard. Cooked, you're cooked. There's something you can do. There's something you can do, good defense, I'm proud of you. Oh, they do have a 99 speed corner, don't they? I wonder if he's following Murchison. Let's just hand this off, make this one easy. Oh my goodness, they're all dropping back for the pass. Fourth and one, what a clutch conversion. A, McDonald, fourth and inches, dude, let's go Wildcat. Wildcat jet sweep on fourth and inches. This is going to Doosable, it's not going to Murchison. So it won't be 99 speed and my mom's calling me, mom, I love you. But I gotta do this for West Virginia. No, not a holding. Hey mama, how are you? Yeah, I'm just hanging out. I'm trying to win this natty with West Virginia, but it ain't easy. Oh my gosh, a natty? Yeah, a natty, a natty chip, you know? No, what is that? A national championship, mom? It's the biggest game in college football! Oh my god, oh, you're playing the game. I'm playing the game. Do you ever play in dynasty mode? That is literally the mode I am in right now. How do you even know that? Because I kind of been looking into it, huh? I used to be the other day. You about to be, you about to be in the lab? Yeah. Who are yeah. you, who are you rebuilding first? Oh. Central Michigan. All right, good luck with that, Mom. That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Win a national championship. I'm trying. I just shake the piss out of a field goal, but I'm trying. All right. Well, good. I'll let you go if you're playing. Love okay. You, I love you so much, Mom. I'll talk to you soon. Fourth and two in the second quarter. West Virginia is going for it. Is this a handoff? It is. It is. Oh, we're close, but not quite. They're going to reset the chains. Looks like they scored quick, and we're back on O. Dude, this crowd is loud. Let's go, Wayne Hubbard. We'll take seven. We've got timeouts. Touchdown here would be very nice. Smash verticals. If this is zone, it's not zone, but wow. Vacate the middle. Looks like a little soft coverage on Murchison. That might be their 99 speed corner, but it just doesn't. Dude, and he keeps breaking tackles. This freak show. The key to a rebuild is one 99 speed wide receiver. If you get two, take it. Not a lot of scoring there. Looks like defense stepped up big time in the second half. It's 21 to 10. We get the ball in the red zone. Well, dude, we have a really deadly read option now. Like a really deadly read option. And I, I can't even get this audible off. I guess I'm passing this ball. I tried to make that a read option. Booth, 
93 speed. Great blocks. Oh, I almost was going to be able to get that. Dude, look at this speed option. We got a 93 speed quarterback. We got a 94 overall halfback. I got to give this a go. I'm going to get the pitch off, and he's going to turn for the quarterback. Hubbard's going to walk it in. West Virginia speed option. No way. Our next moment is when the game is 35 to 17. We're trying to go for this here just to put this ball game away. I'm just going to give this to Wayne Hubbard, and my goodness, this game's over. Woo! Our first playoff dub. There was a lot of Gabe Murchison, but there was a lot of Wayne Hubbard too. Not to mention the Mountaineers defense. The backyard brawl. Winner, West Virginia. The senior, DeAndre Booth, getting player of the game, 316 and three. I think at this point, he probably already has beat Geno's single season passing yards. Or sorry, career passing yards. Playoff game W, baby. Hey, we got one under our belt. Let's stay locked in. Ooh, look at this playoff run. We're playing some cool teams. The Peach Bowl quarterfinal against the Miami Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are an 89 overall. Slightly better than Pittsburgh. Their best player is a middle linebacker, Eric Boggs. They've got a stud halfback. What's their quarterback look like, though? I'm his quarterback. Nothing too special. It's a sophomore field. Generally, he's kind of fast. Jamichael Tremble. This might be our key to winning. We need him to fumble the bag. The Peach Bowl! I can smell the national championship. We've got a quarterfinal, a semi, and then the natty. We're so close. Oh, but I think the gauntlet is like really starting. I don't think Pittsburgh was too tough of a team. Like in general, I don't mind playing Pittsburgh. Miami, on the other hand, this could be a dogfight. Miami scores on their opening drive, but we've got ourselves in the red zone. DeAndre Booth, Wayne Hubbard, Kind of expected a handoff. No, it's going to be a quick pass. Caught by the tight end. Beautiful response from West Virginia. Not the best gritty, though. I, I can't say I agree with that. Dude, I'd love, to, I'd love to show you something. This is a blowout. An utter blowout. After that first touchdown, I expected it to be back and forth. Miami is trash. Their defense is incredible, but they're getting lit up. They got a star on every single player on that D-line, and they're getting lit up. We were looking to chew the clock and end it right there, but I mean, it's it's already over. On fourth and six, we punted away. Miami just got completely upset, completely embarrassed here. And honestly, I think it was that quarterback. I watched him throw a lot of incomplete passes in that simulation right there. We'll see what those stats say. That's another incompletion right there. Dude, this is number two in the nation, Miami. Miami QB just can't get it going. Not how I expected this game to go, but I'm excited to see it. Let's see the boys close this out strong. Maybe not. Yeah, dude, Jamichael Tremble, one touchdown, two interceptions. Just struggling, first and 10. Big blitz over the middle, sailed it. This is kind of what happened to DeAndre Booth when he was younger too. We just, he just wasn't good enough yet. Miami's got one touchdown this entire game. Let's keep it that way. Little morale boost going into next week. Stepping up in the pocket. Going down in the pocket, fourth and 10. You're punting? Dude, your season's over. It's some of these guys' last game of college football. You're gonna punt it. Miami's seen enough. They wanna get on the bus healthy. Why are we running a play? This is so disrespectful. Why are we running a play? Wayne Hubbard's gonna take an extra four yards. Dude, the Peach Bowl is a blowout. An utter blowout. West Virginia, 51. Hurricanes, 13. This team just caught fire. I gotta see these stats. What did we do here? Tremble was horrendous. 16 for 38 on 42% completion. DeAndre Booth, 374, five touchdowns, two interceptions. Hubbard was okay on the ground, nothing spectacular. And take a guess, Gabe Merchinson, 145, but it was actually John Avila going for 117 and two. Defensively, Barry Carden and Kevin Sims, an interception apiece. Barry Carden is the corner we subbed in because he had 94 speed. Looks like that was a good call. Peach Bowl down, baby. Neither of those games were particularly close. I don't think that that trend is gonna continue. Does the Mickey Mouse run continue? Continue. Ooh, Robert Avery gets defensive play of the week. I think I'm playing Cincinnati. This is low key a very easy playoff run. I'm not going to pretend like Cincinnati or Miami are bad, but dude, when you got to get through like Michigan and Georgia and Bama, that's when it's so tough, especially Oregon, actually. Oregon's kind of my nightmare team. Cincinnati, we got a big 12 team in here. 12 and two Bearcats taking on the 11 and three Mountaineers in the Orange Bowl. Let's take a look at the college football playoff bracket. So Western Michigan made it, which is awesome, but they lost to Texas. It's 
Texas and USC on the other side of the bracket, so the Natty is probably gonna be our hardest game. Dude, none of the big name teams even made it in 2030. Like the top five teams I always see are not in here. So that's good news for us. We gotta beat either Texas or USC, and that's if we can get past Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the lowest overall we've faced in the playoffs, an 86 overall. They've got a stud senior halfback. They've got a relatively fast freshman corner who's probably not even starting, so no speed demons to worry about, and a solid Timmy Kowalski quarterback. This is technically our easiest playoff matchup, but Miami was supposed to be horrible. We smacked them, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. West Virginia versus Cincinnati in the Orange Bowl, one game away from the national championship. Let's see how this puppy goes. All right, gentlemen, it is three to zero. I'm on our speed demon linebacker, Giamello. I can actually choose my position. There's an angle route. We got bodies. Good defense. All right, it's 3-0. We find ourselves in the red zone. Let's see what the Mountaineers can do with the ball here. You got to hand that off. Three, three down linemen. It's a counter. Wayne Hubbard is going to take three. Third and seven. We're going empty. Looking to get the touchdown right here, right now. Booth unloads. Intercepted Bearcats. DeAndre Booth. A rare mistake from our standout senior quarterback, DeAndre Booth, in the red zone. You do not want to see that. Handoff Cincinnati's going to go for 15. Cincinnati's putting together a really good drive here. It's fourth and one, but they're going for it. No field goal. They could tie it up. It's a handoff. We're in the... Ooh, it's honestly good penetration, but just not enough. First and 10. Clean pocket. Unloads. Stopped at the one, but Cincinnati is knocking on the door. Be ready for the run, boys. Be ready for the run. It's going to be inside zone to the left. We got to stuff it. There it is. Inside zone to the left. It's absolutely stuffed. Cincinnati's going the wrong way. Now from the four, I don't expect another run. I think this will be a pass, and it is. He's flushed out to the left, but he's got so much room. Giamello, step up and rock him, buddy. Cincinnati's got seven. They're on top. Luckily, we quickly responded with a touchdown. It's 10 to seven since he's got the ball. It's seven to 13 at the top of the fourth quarter. Interception, maybe a pick six. Oh my God, what a play by Sims. He jumped the screen, I guess we learned. We were getting railed by the screens against Colorado. First and 10, we've got the ball up six and both. What are we doing? Oh my God, it's turnover central. Back to back INTs. DeAndre Booth might be having the worst game of his career, but luckily this West Virginia defense is hoisting him up. It's first and 10 in the red zone. I mean, even if we hold him to a field goal, I think they'd go for it. I feel like they're gonna go for it on fourth no matter what happens here. So let's see if we can get him there. This halfback's a freak. Anthony Gaston's got 120 on the ground. It's their best player. He's their number one overall player on that team. Second and five, this time a pass. A quick one, he's caught. Can we do a goal line stand? First and goal. Tri oh my God, I just got beat by the wing tee. I just got scored on by the fucking wing tee. That's crazy. This is definitely college football. Maybe the biggest play of this entire playoff run. It's third and eight. We're in deep field goal range, but I don't know. Maybe we just pick up some yards or maybe we go for the house. Booth, you have so much speed. Use it. Let's go. DeAndre Booth. Another timeout, Cincinnati. We could technically chew the clock, kick a game-winning field goal, but if we miss that field goal, we lose. DeAndre Booth flushed out. DeAndre Booth unloads. DeAndre! Why, DeAndre? Why? Just take off or throw it out of bounds and we kick the field goal and we take the lead. I cannot believe what I am watching. It's first and 10. We have all three timeouts. It's technically not over. But if we can't stop this monster halfback, third and five, this is the ball game right here. He's down, thank God. They got a punt. They can't kick this field goal unless they've got the best kicker in the nation. They can't kick this. It's a punt on fourth and two. We got 52 seconds to get back in range. Immaculate punt. It's first and 10, but we only need field goal range. No timeouts. Booth, I need some really good clock management. That's a blitz. That means somebody's going to be open. Hell yeah! First and 10. We need 30 more yards. We got 42 seconds to do it. Don't snap, don't spike it. Why are we spiking? This is college football, baby. You use four seconds to spike it. You could have just ran a play. Whatever. Second and 10. We're resetting. No blitz this time. Laser caught. He's going to spike it again. 34 seconds on the clock. We're at the 50. We need, I don't know, we need 15 more yards to make it possible. Dude, why are you calling fucking hot routes? It's a spike. Dude's hitting the fucking this. Come on. Oh my God. I'm under so much stress right now. Second and 10, 29 seconds. Booth has been clutch in this drive. Oh my God. It's like you want to throw an interception. A really lucky drop is keeping our hopes alive. Third and 10. Booth, 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 caught. 
Field goal range! Oh my God, we're coming out. 45 yard field goal for the ball game, it's up! It's good! West Virginia! DeAndre Booth, I don't think you deserve this, man. This defense is carrying you right now. We're gonna need a lot better in the Natty chip, but there's still 14 seconds. A field goal from Cincinnati would retake the lead. They have one timeout. Hopefully this burns four seconds. Beautiful. Burns four, they start on the 23. Check down, questionable. That's Cincinnati's last time out. They gotta be in Hail Mary right here, right now. 14 to 16. Second and five with five seconds. Why are we press covering a Hail Mary? Why are we press covering a Hail Mary? That's out of bounds. Doesn't even matter if it's caught, it is. That's ball game. Oh, take me home. Come on. West Virginia hangs on by a thread. Now DeAndre Booth was shit all game. Oh my God, look at that trophy. That's so awesome. DeAndre Booth. Oh my God, our player of the game is Paul Schrader. They don't know who to give it to because we sucked. DeAndre Booth sucked. He was very clutch in that final drive though. He was very clutch. This has to be DeAndre Booth's worst game. 17 for 32, a touchdown and three interceptions. It's a miracle we win that game. A W is a W, I suppose, right? Dom Wiley gets Defensive Player of the Week and he did have some big stops on that goal line. Yo, national. I mean, there's only four games, but still. <laughs> Paul Schrader, stop it. We're taking on Texas. This will be the biggest test, the national championship. West Virginia taking on the Longhorns. 91 overall, 95 running back. God tier offensive line, literally 90s at every O-line. 88 quarterback with mobile dead eye and pull down. Yikes. Let's go boys, let's go. It's time for the Natty Chip. Oh, it's a night game, open stadium. Things are looking really good in the third quarter, but it's certainly not over. First and 10 for Texas, that's a huge run. Oh my God, and he he doesn't step out, that's a touchdown. He didn't step out, that's a touchdown. 35 to 21 at the top of the fourth, but Texas is looking like they might score. We're dominating the game right now though. First and goal for Texas. That back is a monster, second and goal. This next drive of ours is gonna be crucial. Although if we can get a goal line stand here, jet sweep. Oh, that's hard to stop. Really hard to stop. Touchdown, Texas. 28 to 35, we've got the ball. Looking to put it away with a really good drive right here. Well, this opening drive could not be going any worse. It's third and 24 backed up into our own end zone. Probably gonna hand this off and punt it. If I had to guess, what do you know? Wayne Hubbard, unless he wants to, no. What are we doing, West Virginia? We were so hot. First and 10. Oh, big pass rush, but we don't get him. But we don't get him. Oh my goodness. First and 10 for Texas. I'm getting nervous now. No more jet sweeps, please. Zone fake jet. I like that a lot better. We got a seven point lead, but it's dwindling. Second and six, they're getting into the red zone here. There's a quick pass, but he's tackled. Third and two. Is this a handoff? What we got, we're press covering. It is a handoff. We got a screamer. Big time! What's Texas gonna do here on fourth and four? They're gonna go for it. Oh my goodness, this could be the game. This could be the biggest play of the game right here. Fourth and four. Drops back, delayed blitz, end zone, defended! West Virginia ball. First and 10, we need a, dude, we can put it away right now. Wayne Hubbard, pull blockers up the middle, Wayne Hubbard! Two minute warning comes up, Texas with three timeouts, it's a read option, Booth, Booth, DeAndre Booth! 35 to 28, two massive rushes. We are getting down the field quick, we're almost in field goal range, zone fake jet, Texas, having none of it, second and 12. Hand off Wayne Hubbard. Ooh, better yards than I expected there. We're passing, trying to put this ball game all away. No, just kidding. It's a hand off Wayne Hubbard, who might have just put us in field goal range. If we can hit this, we can put this game away. Two possession lead, 47 yard field goal in the national championship. Dude, this kicker has been so clutch. I don't even know his name. Is he gonna drill one more? There's a flag though. Roughing the kicker. Please tell me. Please tell me. Roughing the kicker! Oh my god! A roughing the kicker just ended Texas's season! And the Mountaineers are national champions! Let's go! Soak it all in, gentlemen. We almost choked a 14-point lead, but the gold and white confetti is raining down. DeAndre Booth is the happiest man alive. 35 to 28. The Mountaineers are hoisting the national championship trophy. And uh, there we go, this guy. Wayne Hubbard gets player of the game. Dude, DeAndre Booth brought us here, but everybody else 
kept us going. That read option, those last two runs, the close of this game were so clutch. It was not an easy game, but we came out on top 35 to 28 in the Natty and the Mountaineers. Look at that. What a beautiful shot, man. What a beautiful shot. Booth, 16 for 22, 280 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Wayne Hubbard, 17, 160 and two, 94 overall. Looks like, I mean, is that our Tavon Austin? Not really. Murchison, only six receptions, 84 yards. Kind of a slow game for him, despite that being a good stat line. Oh, the most beautiful screen to see after six hours. The college football playoffs national championship. Oh, it feels so good. The Mountaineers, man. The Mountaineers. Now we got to check the record books. I assume we broke a record here. So Big 12 records, passing yards. DeAndre Booth on his career, 17,000. He also got passing touchdowns with 169 in his career. We don't have any season records though. 25 touchdown catches for Stedman Bailey. And as far as single game records, the passing touchdown still sits with Geno Smith. We were able to get one one record throughout this rebuild, but dude, those are some monster records in the Big 12. All right, gentlemen, we got to sim an entire season on autopilot, see how this team can do without any intervention from us during the entire season. I obviously had a little bit of input. I don't know that we could run it back without my input but let's find out. Not to mention, we are losing DeAndre Booth. That was DeAndre Booth's final season. We're also losing Wayne Hubbard. Let's take a look at this Mountaineers roster. We're an 84 overall. Dujabo's up there now. It's certainly a solid team, but we just, we lost such an unbelievable amount of talent. However, Gage Murchison is now in his senior season. He's got incredible stats still, so hopefully he can have a good year in this final year. Our new starting quarterback is Cliff White here, a senior, 83 overall. Honestly, looks really similar to DeAndre Booth. Well, we certainly didn't run it all the way back, but it was still a very solid season. We went nine and four. Doesn't look like we had a college football playoffs bid. Looks like the national championships between Kentucky and Oregon. Our bowl game was against North Texas and we lost. Oh, yuck. No conference championship either. So we're going to put a pin in this Mountaineers rebuild as a four-star program, a national championship under our belt, and we sent multiple people to the NFL. Keyshawn Robinson, Garrett Green, DeAndre Booth. All right, gentlemen, it's time to retire our head coach, Matt Meigs, this is officially the earliest I've won the national championship, and it still took seven years. Matt Meigs, the Mountaineer, retiring from college football. Thank you boys for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.